live. Hey guys, this is MC here. Today I'm gonna do my 90s haircut. A haircut that I used to wear when I was Hamza's age, about 14, 15 during the 90s. So uh, I'm gonna do the whole haircut with scissors, razor, and a comb. So we're gonna just uh, we're gonna section off the top. The 90s haircut was kind of like what we would call, you know, mid fade, but uh, with a long top that kind of splits on half, falls to the sides. So first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna section the top, all, like a, almost like a horseshoe shape, but I'm not really concerned too much about being too precise with my sectioning, since the top is gonna just blend into the uh, back and into the uh, sides. So let's just push it out of the way for now. And then we're gonna, uh, Connected. All right, Hamza is gonna sit straight. His back has to be very straight. Make sure your back is straight, buddy. Sit all the way back on the chair. Mm -hmm. All right, then you're gonna put your chin down, only your chin. There you go. And that's gonna allow me here to work with scissors. I'm gonna go work with my scissors just as if when I do with a clipper and go straight up like that. So from here, up. Let's start from here, strike a guide right here. Grab another one here. As we move lower, I get closer. And here. This is over comb. It was the first technique that I learned as a barber. Back home, all I could do was scissor over comb because we had no clippers. So now everything comes to this point. Again, follow my guide. And then go to that point. I press here I press with my comb and then I loose, 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 loose. I let go, let go, let go, let go, and here I come out. All right, there we go. Quick reminder, quick reminder, March 1st, I'll be doing four days hands-on class. Uh, we're gonna do t basically 30, uh, 32 hours of uh, hands-on uh, day one we're gonna do uh, scissor all day scissor work day two is gonna be all day uh, razor work day three is gonna be all day uh, clipper work and day four all day styling so uh, what you guys need to have for that class is you need to have one or two mannequins preferably two mannequins uh, Scissors, razors, clippers, combs, blow dryers, tripods for your mannequins. So these are the things that you might that you need. It's gonna happen in uh, Middletown, Connecticut, in my barber academy, and the barber academy now is open as well. If you are in Connecticut and you like to enroll in my academy, uh, mcbarber.com for more information on our academy. So here I'm just removing the bulk with my uh, scissor over comb, comb. And then I'll use uh, finer combs to get closer. Scissor comb is the most common technique in uh, barber shops and salons. 
But for me personally, this is the most difficult technique to master. I'm not gonna worry about that, I'm gonna come back and So this is basically a haircut that I learned or, or practiced on when I was a teenager. Because this haircut was popular and I used to do this haircut with scissors or a comb on all my cousins and friends and I don't even know how I did it but back then we didn't have good scissors or combs. Today we have top of the line scissors, combs. Scissors that I'm using here are uh, MC Barber scissors. They are six and a half inch. Uh, made from, from uh, high end uh, Japanese metal, uh, molybdenum alloy. Uh, they are made in Japan. They are hand forged. Uh, you can get them on my uh, website, mcbarber.com, MC on the store page. And uh, this is a six and a half inch scissor, uh, and they are three hundred dollars. Honestly, they hold the, the edge very good. Uh, I've been using this scissor since August of 2019. I use them at the competition. I practice in the mannequins every day in a barber shop and they're still holding the edge very good. Okay, so now that we kind of created our guide, we're gonna switch the comb to a finer comb. And look down for everybody. Your chin, not, not your whole head, okay? And then here I'm gonna just press a little bit, cut it closer with a, this is, it acts similar as guards and the clippers. The the small the smaller the comb, the closer you get. You know, the, the thinner the comb. So again, a reminder: uh, MC Barber Academy. Is in Middletown, Connecticut. We are working on MC Online, Bar MC Barber Academy Online right now. We were hoping to launch it in, in uh, March, but we are not 100% sure since we are just starting to shoot the videos. These will be instructional videos on my whole system, basically about, you know, uh, it's gonna be somewhere around 50, 60 videos uh, on every different, any, every different technique that I do with the scissors, razor, clippers, uh, blow dryer, pretty much everything that I do, everything that you need to do to be a very uh, successful barber or stylist uh, when it comes to the men's hair styling. And uh, that you can always, uh, that you can go all the way to the world level. March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, MC Barber Workshop in Milltown, Connecticut. It's 32 hours of hands-on class. Uh, the workshop is $1,500 for four days. Uh, for more information, mcbarber.com. and go to mcbarber.com and go to the workshop page.
Learning how to cut with both hands is good because when you do scissor over comb, it, gi it gives break to your hand. Besides that, some angles are a lot easier to use uh, opposite hands. So for example, on this side, on the right side of his head, I use my left hand because it's easier here to work on my scissors since the point of the scissors is behind his ear. If I was using my right hand, then it would be slightly difficult here to get close. So this is quite easier. And then when I do that side, I, I just switch my hand. All right, so now we're gonna change our comb to a finer comb since we wanna get closer. So now we're gonna take a tapering comb Put down, buddy, and start from about right here. Can you come on this side? Yep. We're gonna start from right about here and down. We're gonna get closer. So we're gonna start here. So here we really press the comb, and then as we go higher we start releasing so press 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 as we go we start releasing is one of those techniques that you have to be patient very patient take your time because we tend to move we tend to move fast and that's where we mess up How is that looking, Rebecca? Very good. Yo, stop moving, buddy. I'm not gonna any any line I make while you move. I'm not gonna fix them. I'm just gonna leave it. So I literally used to use used to do this back in the '90s for my friends because we didn't have no clippers, so everything had to be done with the scissors. That's how I actually developed my scissor work. Why are you moving, man? Uh, it was like a pinch. Well, stop moving. We used to do this uh, back home. This is over comb, this is over comb. Any line you see a dark spot, you go back and just work on it.
So with this comb, with this comb here, we are getting about same size as we, as we would get with a half guard and a wall magic clips. That work perfect. Now let's do this side. So these videos we actually upload live, un, uh, meaning un, uh, unedited. So any mistake that we make or step that we take, you can see. There you go, buddy. I'm getting haircut the way I used to get a haircut. The, the only thing that you are not doing is you are not sitting on a bunch of uh, cow poop. That's what we used to sit on to get a haircut. We didn't have chairs. We cut here outside. What do you say, Hamza? Good. Good job. Any questions, Hamza? Why is my mullet gone? Where is your mullet? Where is your mullet? Your mullet, your Joe Dirt mullet, <laughs> is not happening, buddy. Got a mullet. I give you a mullet. Is it too late to go back? Uh, where for, to a mullet? Yeah. No. It's never too late. You, yo, why, why are you moving, man? This is not a smart idea to move when a person is using scissors right behind your ear. You might lose your ear, buddy. It's not even a joke.
do me a favor, pull your ear down. There you go. Perfect, see, that makes it a lot easier for me to work in this area. So if you need to, you can ask your client to hold his ear down while you work in this area, especially if you are only righty. So watch, so if I'm here, now it makes it a lot easier for me to work in this area. Otherwise, I could easily, you know, cut his ear with the heel of my scissor. But you see how much easier it is that he moves his ear. That's it. Let go. Look down for me. Somebody, just kind of like lighten this area up a little bit. Perfect. And let's see. I'm gonna leave this line kind of heavy here, you see that? I just wanna make sure it's even. And I'm, but I'm gonna lighten the line a little bit with the blending scissors. It will just look better, but I want to leave that hair long, like right to that point. So let's just lighten that slightly. But I don't want to, I don't want to create layers here. I want to leave that heavy like that. Look down for everybody. Same thing here. This haircut was very popular back in the like early 90s. If you watch soccer and you check the soccer games from 90s, you'll see all the famous famous soccer players with this haircut. We used to call it back home. Italian style, so I'm not sure what it was called in the West or in Europe But uh, we would just go to a barber shop when we could and say Italian style haircut But that was a rare case Most of the times we would just do it ourselves Perfect So since we did not have uh, clippers, we're gonna do the whole thing with a razor. So let's do this. We're gonna shape him up here. Just like that. We wanna clean the lines here. here there you go see that nice nice line let's go the other side Nice. 
nice line there. This light, this side should be slightly lighter, easier to do. This line, this is kind of difficult to do there. So let's switch the hand and do this with the left hand. Good. Switch back and do the rest of it. Here, that's good. Nice, oops, we made this one slightly crooked. There you go. Look down for me, buddy. Can you see our shirt, please? All right, look down. If you can see here, can you come right from behind? He's weak here, weak here, but hard, strong there. So let's kind of like lighten that so we can taper that part. Huh? We'll give him a baby taper since he's a baby. <laughs> are you baby? No. You are a baby, my friend. Alright, so let's try a technique with a razor to soften this with a razor. And then whatever doesn't work will we'll try to remove it with a Scissors. One second. My scissors have very pointy uh, tips for this purpose, so I can work on these things here. So that I can remove these lines. I will start with my scissors and then insert my comb. I won't go too high. Again, in March, March, the first week of March, uh, we have our four days hands-on workshop on uh, MC Barber system. Uh, we learn the te techniques with scissors, razor, blow dryer, and clippers. Literally 32 hours of hands-on workshop. Bring your clippers, scissors, razors, mannequins, and tripods, and come ready for four days of boot camp. Uh, for more information, mcbarber.com and be ready, Middletown, Connecticut. Again, more information, mcbarber.com and be ready.
Alberto, what do you think about my baby taper here? You don't have to be nice because I'm your boss. No, because we're on camera. <laughs> no, because we're on camera, what a crook. That's <laughs> no, awesome. Especially with the scissors. Let me see, camera doesn't lie. I'll look on the camera. Look down, Hamza. Okay, 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 okay. Right here is a little bit dark, so I gotta work on that. We've been cutting this 30 minutes already? Mm-hmm. Oh, time flies. You're having fun. I've been talking too much. All right, so let's blow dry and style. The top is actually good. I don't want to cut any of the top. I want to see how it looks and then see if I have to cut any. Everything is pushed back. So basically the junior wants to look like me when I was his age. The only thing is I was a lot better looking. I wish, huh? Let me see, Junior. Barbers from uh, 90s definitely remember this one. <clears throat> so I did not want to. Here I want that kind of heavy line uh, right in this area. Let's see what we're gonna use. Maybe some of this. I should have cut your top short, but... But it's okay. There you go. It looks like a model. <laughs> an ugly model. Excuse me? <laughs> it looks like an ugly model. Keep playing with me. This part used to be dropped like this, low, you see? So everything, and then down, lower, not high though. We kept it low. Same thing on the sides. Muy bien. Muy bien. Hey, what are you forgetting something? What am I forgetting? My hot leather. There is no hot leather. We didn't have a hot leather. It was done on the hot sun, and that's it. There was no hot leather. <laughs> <laughs> we had big nineties, buddy. Don't get, get over that and spoil American life, buddy. That's what it is. Don't move now. Here we go. Here it is. MC Barber nineties cut. Look down, buddy. With a nice skin taper, goes up. 
Here you can see it's pretty heavy there. Kind of splits on half. All right, let's spin him one time. Special effects. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> so you don't break my camera. Alright guys, this is MC. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. MCBarber.com is my website. Uh, the MC Barber is my Instagram. T-H-E-M-C Barber. Uh, MC Barber is my Facebook page. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumb up if you like it. For more videos, definitely subscribe and check my website for upcoming uh, programs that we have such as uh, workshops and also uh, online academy thank you so much